Oh, I'm ready, B. It's Tuesday, and it's time to tighten it up. It's the show where she flips shit, she makes it fly. That's B-flat. She's in Philadelphia. I'm Chris Denman. That's Grace. It's her last night here in St. Louis. It's a weekly comedy and DIY show your mother warned you about. Make sure you're letting us hear it in the comments. Make sure you're having a good time playing along at home. Cash app dancing, partying. Get smokest, everybody. It's B flat. <laughs> Sighting up Tuesday on the Two Funny Mamas channel each and every Tuesday night. Very happy to be here. Have a surprise to show you later on in the Ask Chris Deasy segment. It's going to be a big show. Tight show and a big show. Look at Grace. One last dance. Mm. Oh. Tom Petty would be proud. Great work, Grace. Grace, <laughs> this show is going to miss Grace. It is. I, I love Grace. She got a full-time gig with benefits and everything. And if you're not trying to freelance, buddy, you can't turn that down. Oh, so does that mean she's moving on to bigger and better things? I didn't want to say that, but sounds well, like... I would say a, a, a casino owned by a giant company. Well, she's actually moving into her field. Well, I mean, this is her field, but it's like yeah. it's, it's one of those she's things. she's going to school for. She has so a degree for. Field. Yeah. There you go. So it's Can like, hey, decide, go decide if you want to do it. Grace, do you have a microphone? Oh, wow. Congratulations, Grace. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a good Thank Christmas you. present. Mm -hmm. That's a good Christmas present. For Are yourself. you excited to tune the speakers on level three <laughs> in the women's bathroom behind the blackjack table? Frankly, it's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> See, we, <laughs> we create dreams here at Midcoast Media. We don't stop people from chasing them. Uh, we are very excited for Grace. We're excited for yeah. B because it's Tuesday. You're here, and uh, you're going to be in St. Louis tomorrow or Thursday. Tomorrow. We got a, we got a lot to get into. So what's That's happening, great. B? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to all of my Picassos, all my fans, people on the edge in terms of being a Picasso. Everybody oh. don't know what it takes to be a Picasso, Chris. Stop. It's tough. It's tough. So mm -hmm. shout out everybody that shows love to this show. You know you could be anywhere in the world, possibly. But I'm glad you're here with me. Glad you're here with Chris. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. Shout out to everybody who sent me nice Christmas gifts, Christmas cards, Christmas cash apps. Just wishing Dennis and I peace, love, joy, and me. happiness. Yes. I shout out to... Uh... I'm assuming that she'll be in the live chat, but uh, Irina sent a nice gift for Key and uh, and Grace over here and Andy, even uh, even a little that something nice. for me that I'm kicking back to the staff. So oh, that was nice. Well, shout mm -hmm. out to Irina for loving all the um, Chris and the crew. Thank yeah. you, Irina. Oh, so kind. Chris so, so kind. Mm. Oh, that was nice. You got a cash app shout out too. <laughs> well, let's. I'm sure it was a doozy. What are you drinking there, B? A cocktail called Bug Juice. <laughs> there it is. Trying to be a little classy, so I put it in a nice glass instead of drinking it out of my Bug Juice bottle. Mm. And plus, I'm always leery about using my stuff all the time. That's why I keep it up there on the shelf for display. Mm -hmm. I'll be feeling like if I wash it too much or something might fade or it might get weirded out. So I just kind of saved my bug juice bottle for real special occasions. Wow. I'm still, this is post Christmas. Today is, uh, I think, a mood emoji on um, Kwanzaa, second day. Uh, it's a lot going on. People still out, people celebrating all kinds of holidays all over. So keep I'm it, still celebrating up to New Year's. Keep it going. And uh, in the business world, everybody's yes. out of office. So whatever you're celebrating, you're relaxing, I hope it's great. So. We had a lot of fun. We did. Uh, we'll get into your stuff here in a second, but I just want to give a quick shout out to all the Two Funny Mamas fans. We did a Two Funny Mamas live stream on Christmas Eve, and Kim was at her her father's house or her uncle, her brother's house, Scott in Cleveland. Yep. Oh in Cleveland. my gosh! Shout out to the Whitleys. I want to produce that reality TV show. Oh my gosh! It's funny, I was talking to her yesterday, and she's trying to pack because she's flying to to Maryland tomorrow, and she's like. Mm. what what no i'm like who are you yelling at she's like my brother because she was saying she got to go to la 
to get Joshua and then go to Maryland. Yeah, she's yeah, going, that's back to she's going to then... LA to get Joshua and then to Maryland because she's doing the Joe uh, Claire show that I mm-hmm. did a couple, like three or four weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Oh, nice. Okay. At the yeah. Performing Arts Center. Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. So we chatted about some stuff and her upcoming appearance on Tighten Up Tuesday. Oh, so is we'll that see. happening? Hopefully, while I'm in um, LA. Oh, if you're I'm out there, it'll happen. Yeah, live, live from her house. Good luck. I dare you to to tackle her bedroom or the closet bed. Oh, room. no, no. We're doing, I told her, we're, we just doing small organizational tasks. <laughs> I seen Kim's shit. I'm doing shit. I said, think of stuff like your drawers, like a junk drawer, you know, mm-hmm. where you keep all your hair stuff. You might want that. Or like different cabinets, like how to fold certain things. Think in terms of that. She's like, well, I'm going to have a list of like 10 things. I was like, yeah, get your list together. I ain't trying to go in there and do no, I ain't got space. That's so funny. We've got, you we know, got a I, bunch I, of comments. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you'll get in there. Yeah. You'll do great. You guys will be really funny together. Uh, <laughs> everyone giving Grace a lot of love in the live chat uh, as deserved. Uh, Robin says, hey, B, Grace and Chris. GT Davika's in the house. Uh, hey, Fab 540. Robin. Fab 540. I remember her from uh, the uh, Brief and Bake. Happy oh, holidays. Great. How was the potato salad? Oh, that's terrible. And people anybody think, cooking potato salad in the winter ought to be ashamed of their damn self. People think oh, they eat potato salad that's with the summer food. Oh. Well, you know, I got to give a shout out to Daphne. Happy holidays to her and her family. Shout out to Lauren. I sent a whole bunch of messages out. I missed a few people on my other phone number. But I will definitely get to them because it's still the holidays. But yeah, I was I spent Christmas just chilling in my same little red zip up that I wear every day. I know I didn't take a shower. Whatever. So and I just spent all day talking to people, showing love, catching up, and just trying to stay. Even Steven. And Chris, we had a great Christmas. We opened up presents. And guess what? We didn't have no paper to tear up. It was like great. Because now I'm into just saving the bags, dropping the gifts right in the bag. Yeah. Pull it right out. Yeah. yeah. We only had a few like things to throw away. I was like, all this cleaning up. I'm over that. I'm Beautiful. over it. So. Proud of you. Take well, notes. look, I do have to give some quick shout outs. Because remember last week when I told you, I guessed that it was Danielle that sent the mug. <laughs> she sent two. One came late. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. One is for Dennis and one is for me. Somebody loves mm. us in South Carolina. Ain't that cute? That's so nice. I so love thank it. you, Danielle Murray. And then we got these in the mail, and they glow in the dark, Chris. Shout out to Angela Ayers of Wonderful Wristlets on Etsy. You see these? Hello. Hey, now. I should turn all the lights out real quick so you can see how they glow in the dark. We got kidding. nobody's turn it on. No, I got to turn out like seven lights. And then that's going to make the show run over. You know I'm on the budget. Tight show. Falling Tight on show. the budget, bro. So anyway, these are, I think these are really nice. They're glowing in dark keychains. And you see it's my favorite. Well, I'm taking the silver one. Dennis is taking the black one. So shout out to Angela. She sent me a really, just a really nice car and how much she liked the show and how she discovered me on Two Funny Mamas. And I, you know I love cards to go in the scrapbook, Chris. So shout out to Angela. And her wonderful wristlets by Angela. Her uh, she's on the Etsy shop, just like Maya. And then I got a nice card that isn't this really nice that Phyllis Smith made. Picasso Phyllis, look at that, Chris. She made this. This is really cute. Look at that. That's yes. awesome. I love that. I was like, oh, I like this. It's really nice. It's happy holidays to you and your family. I really. I have enjoyed your, t- I really enjoyed your Two Funny Mom podcast. I really enjoyed you on Tighten Up Tuesday. They're the highlight of my week. Continue doing what you do. Be smart, be crafty, and always be frugal. Your Picasso, Dave Warner, Phyllis Smith. Look just how Shout she did that. Phyllis. That's what I'm really liking how she printed this up and Ain't that hey, cute? Yeah, shout out to Phyllis. If oh, I tried to write like that, you'd, you'd think it was a hostage letter. I write like yeah, a serial like killer. This. She's got great. I like how she did this. So thank you, Phyllis. Phyllis always hitting me up to do the cat scat. <laughs> oh, 
And speaking of which, everybody loves the cat scat. All oh, people trying to hate on the Jane Tubman. Mm. They ain't hating on it. It's more or less like, it's oh, just, we love the cat scat. Yeah. It's a rivalry. They just want my bad knee to get worse. You know that cat scat is it's sweeping the nation. Sweep of the nation. I'm gonna have to get up and do it. Everybody's trying to beat out Miguel. Now he he wanting them up. I that's all I can say. I don't even know if that's a word, Chris. Wanting them up. Yeah, it is on this show. On this show, you got it right because Deezy's a word. He hit me up with the cash ups like two, three times a day. Now you can't beat nobody that's cash happening you every day, and then maybe two, three times a day. So the end of the year is coming up, hands down. I have to say, Miguel Goico is the top cash apper. He put himself in that category. Oh, he doing it, Chris. I ain't mm. mad at him. No. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he? Won't won't he? he do it. So shout out to all the people in the battle. Verna, Phyllis, Monica, Natalie. Oh, it's a lot of people in that battle. Cheryl, Michelle, Laura H. All these people trying to beat Miguel that tried to pay up to the end of the year and all of that. I don't know what to tell you. Trying to peer prepare. Yeah. It's like, this is for the 6th, for December 3rd. I mean, for December 27th, January 3rd. And And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. If your boy is cash up every day sometimes two, three times a day. He letting you know that if you ain't doing that, I don't know what to tell you to do. So, Miguel, end of the year's coming up. When we come back next year, it'll be a whole new year. The battle will hopefully be over. Right. We already know who Let's won. have peace among the because. Yes, let's have peace among us. Because I'm hoping that in the new year, Chris, I can bust out with a Picasso or a smoke is sweatshirt i can have brandon's t-shirt out mm. you know in the new year we're hey like we the little engine that could we had some setbacks but we're still moving along i don't even know if brandon still watched the show i've been reaching out to him haven't gotten a response but we still gonna rock your shirt brandon I'm just letting you know, because you never know who might be in the comments that know Brandon might chat with him. I'll be like, oh, I'm going to reach out to him and tell him to hit up B. Because we're going to have to rock the shirt without him. And then we're going to have to have a stand in with his shirt on when we do the... Uh, you don't have any photos of it? You can't Photoshop one on him? I ain't, I don't even know what he look like. But I'm just saying, Chris, you might have to right. do a stand No, you can't do a stand in. Because you'd have to put on blackface. Nope, we don't. Moving no, on. Man. Moving so on. Stand in. We have to have somebody to come on and stand in for Brandon. Got plenty of people that can off. play the part. Oh, my goodness. Well, B, it's snowy here. You're going to be here for the big show on Thursday. Really cool of you to uh, get the show in tonight for the Picasso's episode 67. 67. Moving on. Chris. Yeah. But you know, when I get to St. Louis, it's going to be 60 degrees. I told you oh, I was bringing right. the heat. You're bringing the heat. To warm up the snow, to make it all melt. And hopefully it won't flood. It'll just flow into the Mississippi and keep it moving. I'm bringing the heat. Not just me, okay. Precious, and Tina. So it's going to be hot in her, in the words of Nelly. <laughs> That's that weed. And it's warming up in St. Louis starting tomorrow. Right. Because you now said you so. Now you just pray that Southwest don't text me in the morning and say, "Can we push your flight back or anything I like that?" I cannot believe you should see. I'm using my points. My friend. I my, flight. my friend. You know, people uh, on the points, Chris. They try to ask you, "Can they bump you and shit like that?" No, ma'am. The photo of the luggage area of the baggage claim at Lambert, which is St. Louis Airport. Mm-hmm. Uh, my buddy's flying. I don't know where he's flying to, but he posted a picture of it today. See, that's why I don't check luggage. Yeah, I will have my shit with me. Right. 
right in the overhead. Walk and you got by Jack. Off. You got by Jack ten feet that way. He can just print you some clothes. There you go. You can print me a whole bunch of flash rags, and I can do the stitch witchery, make yep. me a nice. Now we're talking. Even more reason to help us sell this out. We're close. We're getting there. We're going to sell it out. I think it's going to be a sellout. Do you? I think so. Mm -hmm. I know, see, this is why I didn't. I don't care who watching this show from my family and friends. That's why I couldn't answer the phone today. Because everybody calling me, asking me questions that's on the flyer. <laughs> like, yeah. How much it costs? What time to start? Where it's at? How can we get a table and can we sit together? I'm tired of trying to coordinate. That's why I'm stressed out. I'm trying, tired of trying to coordinate. Things. I know just, Key, you know Key had a couple questions for you and she's like, you still haven't talked to B? Of course, it's my fault. And I was like, B's busy. We're and then it's people there. like, is someone so coming? Cause I want, I don't want to come by myself and I want to sit with them at they take. Oh my. And and also we're doing this on short notice usually we'd want at least a month to get this sold out and we're doing it on short notice and it's going to be packed so i'm excited but that's the thing i've done the same thing uh fox theater people are text we did a show at the fox theater biggest thing we've ever done people are texting me like hey where's where should we park I'm like, i don't care yeah and they're don't, asking me all of that problem. like i live there <laughs> and that's what's pissing me off that's what's oh. pissing me off. So I was like, I'm not answering the phone. Yeah. When I get home tomorrow, I'm coming straight there or going to get my nails done first. And then I'm going to stop and drop. I got to drop a, some things off at people's house, mm -hmm. you know, like Christmas stuff. And I'm just going to keep it moving. Then I'm going to end up taking a nap, probably hanging at my mom's. And then Thursday, oh, I'm, it's on and popping. I'm going to be all over promoting. I'm going to be doing lives. And you just never know where I might be. You're I might even go down to Metro Ticks and be like, give me some damn tickets in my hand right now so I can go deliver these to all the people that can't get out. I like that. They don't that. have a credit card. Like or they that. don't want to put it on their credit card because they old. Be like, I don't be going online with my credit card. How about this? <laughs> yes. Uh, MM is watching from Vegas. I'm guessing the flights affected uh, MM's location. Irene is in the chat. Uh, Fab 540s wanting to know what Santa got us for Christmas. Uh, we have a suggestion uh, before we move on to your next scheduled yes. thing. Mm -hmm. Rye, longtime uh, viewer, listener, not to sound like a horn dog. That usually when people say not to sound like, it means they're gonna sound like whatever they're saying they don't want to sound like. Rhetorical. Yeah, not to sound like a horn dog in parentheses, which I'm not. Yeah, right. But for episode sixty nine, nice. Can we talk about fish nasty Fridays or something? similar and then has a little angel emoji i like that right keep it keep it oh, above board episode 69 hey b do me a favor now you know what's funny b every time you say 69 episode 69 do this nice <laughs> my do nephew it. hit me up I think he's in Minneapolis. I call him my nephew because, you know, he calls me his auntie. And he sent me this whole thing and a picture of their baby about how they celebrate great fish nasty Christmas. And it was so nice. No, it was really cute how they did it. And I'm actually going to print the pictures and show everybody next week how they do. He's like, this is their second year doing a fish nasty Christmas. Yeah. That's how they got the baby. So, <laughs> we got married, now they got the baby because of fish nasty. Perfect. Christmas. God, so I funny. like that. And I like how they're celebrating. They had the little decorations and stuff, stuff saying fish nasty. I was like, that's what's up. It's too funny. Don't oh forget my to gosh. spell it with a PH. That's, it's, so, a, it's a copyright. There you have it. Well, Chris, you know I can't move on. To Maya's car without doing my cash app dances. Oh, please. Wow. That's a big part of the show. That cash app me on Saturday, on, you know, two days ago, mm. three days ago, all of that. So I have to list, shout out to those people like Candace Perry, Verna Hendricks, of course, <laughs> Bill Baker, my man, Miguel Goico, Phyllis Smith, 
These were all cash apps that came in way before today. About to see some cats, Captain. Yes, these are the people that's in the competition. <laughs> Kathy Lafer, Cheryl Merle, and Evie Soto. You guys oh. are great. And you know yes. what, Grace? Let's uh, let's show off your skills. Let's go uh, one shot on B, so people can enjoy the. Oh, meat. not the not the one shot. Oh yeah, let's see it. I need some flat shoes. Rye I admitting, Rye admitting, she's girl. a freak in the live chat. Oh my girl, Y'all know what it is. Go B. Pack 93 is cheering on the cat scat. Ms. Michelle's cheering you on. Irina's cheering you on. Abby's laughing. Miguel's laughing. Missy Shoes loving the cat scat. Miss 007's dancing. Ms. Cups is laughing at you. Grace is up on the engineering table going crazy. Cat scatting all over the studio. That sounded weird. Antonia's in the house. What's up, Antonia? Tanya? Tanya Prince, Tanya Madison. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It'd be MM's cheering you on. Oh, gosh. Bad 540, Tamika. Mm. Let me tell you something. I'm about to take the clippers to this rat's nest. I have got to. No, you're not. Because I'm doing that tomorrow. Doing two clips. <laughs> Is that we're gonna go live oh, when you Chris's come here? Hair tomorrow. We going live, and I'm at, I'm bringing my scissors, Chris. Oh, Key will be right there with you. She'll be she'll plug she'll be plugging it in for you. Oh, we we gonna hook you up. I'm coming in, <laughs> glue gun and all. Disgusted. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming in, glue gun and all. I want to see what it looks like in a few months, and uh, we'll see where it's at. Oh my gosh. You said that Heaven since laughing. Ago. No, I was talking about Mark. I'm thinking like, we'll do the Two Funny Mamas live show here, and maybe right, if I Mark. maybe if I hate it, I'll cut it on stage or something. <laughs> we'll see. This is maybe we'll do I a smoke. crowd vote that why night. This is we'll do a I crowd smoke. vote. Yes. This is why I smoke. Chris, don't be cutting your hair live on stage. We'll let the crowd vote. You know what? You can, because you know why. Tomorrow, I'm going to bring my poncho for you that Chris made. You're not cutting my hair. I got to let, no, let it go this long. You, it's for you. It says, so it won't hurt his thing. You can get your hair cut in your poncho. Oh. <laughs> oh, now you're okay with it because there's a poncho involved. Got it. Okay, got it. But I'm just saying it was made for you. I can't be walking around with a poncho on and say it might hurt his thing. With a big cucumber on the back. I'm bringing that home for you. You can get your hair cut in that at Two Funny Mamas. Then you won't have hair everywhere. Yeah. Oh, let's see what I'm happens. I'm sure people want you to have that. I'm going to let Joni see it. Joni coming to the show. Are they still in? Are they still away? Your parents? Oh, my parents will not be there Thursday. She's, uh, she's just getting over COVID. And my oh. grandparents are uh, dealing with some health stuff, so. I figured that. That's why I was asking. But mm -hmm. well, tell Joni I'm bringing a poncho for her. Don't. <laughs> we don't need ponchos for Joni. I'm getting called out. Uh, okay. MM's talking smack. I can't. I don't know what about. HR says I want to see clean shaven and short hair. That's what MM. And then MM says HR. So does Kim. <laughs> um, I'm being. I'm turning into Silent Bob. Says Margaret Gibbs. <laughs> And when you came out with that uh, skull cap on earlier, yeah. I was like, okay, Silent Bob. Yeah, that right there. We'll see what it looks like. You got a lot of looks going on, Chris. <laughs> let's focus. Looks. Tight show. Uh, let's, <laughs> it's, it's your show. It's your show. It's Cheryl, like I think I'll have it ponytail by March. So there you go. I'm going to give a shout out really quick to Picasso, Beverly Gomez, because... Not only do I read uh, Maya's cards daily, but I also read, I just want to give her a shout out because she sends me daily scriptures in my, on Instagram and they're always really nice. So I just want, that's Picasso Gomez. I'm going to say she's B to the fourth. You know, it's four Beverly's. 
Beverly Where Gomez, uh-huh. Beverly Byrne, Beverly Parker, Beverly Perkins. It's four of us. So shout out to the Beverly's. But yeah, I just wanted to let her know that I do appreciate her with her daily inspirations that she sends to my phone every day. So that's very that kind. Yes, yeah, very kind of her. Let me read this. Of course, you know, I have to give the shout out to the guiding light guru, Maya Bean. Love Maya. Be a kid again. Release your inner child. As adults, we think we are not allowed to dream, but that's not true. Feel inspired to see the world through the eyes of the dreamer you have always been. I firmly believe in that. You know, I'm always acting like a kid. That's why I'm always doing creative stuff and acting silly and playing games. Because I just feel like just because you grow up and you show up don't mean you have to, you know. Blow up. Get Oh, cool, Chris. Had that on the shirt. Get that, Lynn. Write it down. Um, I just feel like you can still show up. What I mean, like, as an adult, because people expect you to stop doing certain things when you become. But I can't believe, like, people are like, I can't draw. Nobody said that when you were a kid. Right. They just if it's something you want to pursue, yeah. Yeah. And then, you, and then you know you couldn't tap dance, and you know you couldn't sing. But your mama, everybody would come to the recitals and all that other shit and would cheer on your creativity. So just because they don't do that anymore and you feel like you cheer yourself on Very and think true. about all, I do that. I think about all the things that I did as a kid that really inspired me. And Chris, that helps me live a stress-free life because I take time to do that. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Yeah. And you live as a do. Yeah. I'm just saying, people are stressed, and this helps to rec- being creative helps to relieve stress. It's proven, just like laughter. That's a good point. Uh, Christopher yeah. Chapman says, "I'm still a Toys R Us kid in my 40s. Nothing wrong with that." Quincy's in the house, saying hey to the fam. Kiana saying hey. Jordan Lane is here. Yeah, everybody's supporting. Strong in the well, comments. That's what's up, all my Beyonces. Oh, okay, I see you. I see you. Shout out to great because so Gracie Hodges. Now you can see she's on a cruise somewhere chilling with her draped in the drip. That's right. I'm still, I'm still rocking the the first prototype. Hey, this is the one I get makeup on and don't feel bad about. But I know I'm keeping it forever because I won't be able to get another one. So yeah, make sure you still get your flash rags, your Picasso t-shirts, your aprons. All of that stuff is available on buyjack.com forward slash B flat. You know, you can throw your apron on when you're cooking your New Year's Eve meal. Some people having black eyed peas, <laughs> people having beans and rice, whatever you need. Put your spoon over here, your reading glasses over there, the recipe in the front. Get your aprons, get your shirts, get your rags. That's right. Right now, buy Jack. Because you have until the end of the year to get 10% off three things. So we yeah. got four more days. Make Keep it, it pushing. I definitely appreciate it. Well, all right. Let, before I jump into my DYK, thank God I sit down and verify things when people send it to me. Shout out to Muriel Moore who sent me a um, a DYK on Lunsford Richardson. And it says that he um, invented Vicks Vapor Rub. But I'm letting you know it is not true. It is a wrong fact. And this this ain't even the right picture. And she got this off of the Joy Ann Reed show. Mm-hmm. This ain't even the right picture. I look all of this stuff up and try to verify it before I... And I'm going to let you know right now, it was a white man who invented Vicks outside of Selma. And he named it after his brother. And he moved to Greensboro, opened a pharmacy. And he is not our DYK for tonight. Man, I thought Thank I was gonna. I thought we were gonna get one in. No, Chris. <laughs> I thought this was our night. Uh-uh. I thought this was our night. I was like, no. oh, maybe we'll slick one in. No, that's not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> if I find something about a white man that he invented to help free a slave, now you're talking. Then we talking. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, he helped us get out, so we got to mention him. <laughs> So if we can it. find something like that. And I don't want to go digging around in my genealogy to see if there's. 
So our DYK for tonight is dedicated to Willis Johnson, who improved, patented and improved the mechanical egg beater. Shout out to that brother. And he's verified. I, guess I'll, be, I guess I'll be excited about he's it. He's verified through Carfax.com. <laughs> anyway, That's let me great. read a couple of facts. I'm glad we got a real DY. Willis. Guy. Great job, B. Let me go on and talk about Willis. African American Willis Johnson of Cincinnati, Ohio, patented and improved the me mechanical egg beater on February 5th, 1884. The egg beater was made of, of a handle uh, attached to a series of spike like whisk wires used to help mix ingredients. Prior to his egg beater, all mixing of ingredients was done by hand. In fact, and what we're looking at now, what Willis initially invented was an early mixing machine. So that's the early version of the mixing machine. And it wasn't just for eggs. It was a device intended for mixing batter and other baking ingredients. Mm -hmm. So the next photo shows the evolution. Oh, wow. My grandma had one. Yeah, and I remember having to use that and take. Oh, I want to say I would see that in my great grandma's kitchen, and maybe my grandma's kitchen at one point. Yeah, but that, but that, and they had the electric ones by then. But I feel like yeah, I'd by seen those. then. Yeah, but yeah, my grandma definitely had one. So shout out to Willis Johnson who had and improved the mechanical egg beater. Great DYK. <laughs> All right. Well, let me jump in. <laughs> MM says thank you, Mister Egg Beater. <laughs> See, we need to know this stuff. These are household items that we use all the time. We don't even know where they come from. So now when you're making a cake and you're using your electrical egg beater, you know a black man invented it. Maybe some, I'm sure somebody improved upon the electrical part because it was in 1884 when he did. I'm sure he was uh, probably gone, you know, by the time the electrical one came about, but. Right. He invented it, and everything gets improved upon. So there you have it. All right. Now, quick shout out. You know we're on the frugal flip, and I want to always give a shout out to the love of my life, Daphne. I don't know where I would be without her. Wow. Oh, um, I mean, Daphne's great, but wow, I thought you were going to talk about Dennis. This oh, is great. the show. This show oh, is great. about Tighten Up Tuesday and Picasso people, not about not your life. Right. Okay. You're not about my life. Yeah, this is about the one that keeps me sane and order and organized and, you know, Daphne be on it. Chris, you see how she act on the Zoom? She shuts it down. She be like, no, B, we have that handle. I like that. I Because I can't do everything. I try, but I'm learning how to release and let go and delegate. Beautiful. So with that being said, Shout out, we are, we moving right along. We're right at $1,307. Oh, for the flip, yeah. yeah. And if you, yes. if yes. you have any You're questions, right. all kidding aside, frugalflip mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Hit up B if you want to know anything about it. She'll answer all your questions. And there's a very cool project coming up. And just think, if you donate to this, you donate to Daphne's, you're donating to the TV project and the bigger Everything goals the big of this entire yeah. show. So B's out here doing this for free and it's, uh, you know, nothing to, to be, to take part in. And you guys are great. You do, you support so well. So thank you for that. But if you have any questions, frugalflip at gmail.com. Sorry, B, go ahead. Oh, no, I just want to give a shout out to Kathy Lafer, Ruth Harrison, Lena Lovett, Michelle Baker, Imani Griffin, Alicia Turner, and Dr. Kim J, who brought, who brought us really, really close, much closer That's to awesome. our goal. Yeah, I... so now we're like $1,100 away, and we are doing so well with Daphne's flip. And the amazing thing is, I love that Dr. Kim is donating to Daphne's flip, and she's getting a flip. Oh, that's so She's nice. in Florida. Yeah, so. I mean, if you think it's, I'm not saying 11 people need to, but if 11 mm -hmm. people donate $100, you're, you know, you're there. So it's, yeah. it's, it's conceivable. We're moving right along. It's definitely conceivable. And you know, Chris, whatever we do and don't get, we all, we make it work and we make it happen. And then you and flip the it and you make turn it out. No. So speaking of Dr. Kemp, I'm showing mm. her photos because this is what 
what she did is what I would love for people to do, especially if you're considering a flip. If you want me to come and do something. She took pictures, more than like, it's like 30 to 50 photos. I just selected a few things of different things that she's willing to give up and flip. And I want to show that because I definitely want Daphne to keep in mind of different things that you might want flip. Once we talked about like what she wants done and I'm going to recap and show the space. She just has so much stuff that I could work with. And I'm like, now this is what I'm talking about. So let me just right. kind of go through where we are with Kim's flip in Florida. So Where's this it? is her is initial alligator, alligator house. Yes. Okay. Two in the backyard. Oh. So this is in Florida, um, right outside of West Palm beach. And this is her outdoor, uh, patio covered patio area. And I had her take a photo with the block, with the shades up. They're, they're like a retractable metal, uh, blinds up and the next photo shows them with them down because i was wondering if they're paintable so like i'm still trying to figure out the space and what i'm going to do because it has to be a part man cave and part sanctuary so mm -hmm. that's going to be my challenge for the two of them so i just wanted to show you some of the things that obviously you can see the things that are there the things that i have to work with i did an up close she sent some up close photos and when people send an up close photo like that, that means they want to keep that and work with it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> why do you, why'd you have a little discontent in your voice there? <laughs> yeah, she's like, I ain't buying no new shit. We're going to keep this and work with it. Oh, so the next, these are things that she wants flipped. Uh, obviously, a matching uh, chair. And I already have an idea for that. It also has an ottoman. And then this, I just want to kind of go through. Just She kind of did a walkthrough through her house and was like, oh, we could probably do something with that. And this is what I love. Yeah. Because once I start looking at things in the space, I can be like, oh, I can break that down and make, you know, many this or that. So it just depends once I start drawing it out and knowing what I'm working with. A whole dresser. I mean, that's, you could do a lot with that. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yes. So, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So I'm just like, and an ottoman. She actually had two. I'm just showing a few things. But I was like, I just love that she really took her time to be like, I could possibly use this for something. I just, I was like, this works. Yeah. Absolutely. Fabric. Yeah, she found like some thick fabric, which is great for outdoor furniture. Uh, in terms of like moisture wicking and stuff like that. And you can even, we probably will end up buying some like the fabric, uh, protector for outdoor furniture so it won't get moldy or anything like that wood pieces for shelving or whatever it is we mm -hmm. may make we have three spaces to work with because she also has an outdoor patio that they just paid plenty of comforters for us to make pillows or anything that we need to use them for or even give away to the homeless if we have too many and now this, I just, I came up with, I don't even want to tell people yet, but I, can, I told Grace earlier, but I don't really want to mess with this, but I do. And I have a great idea for it if she's willing to really let me work with that. But that is so nice. It looks cool. And that's definitely yeah. for the man cave part. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, does, he, does he smoke cigars or anything? I don't know. I'm gonna or anything. Like, you, could, you could booze, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but I have, a, I have a whole different idea for that like taking out okay. two of them i don't want to reveal it well yet. if you don't want it you can give it to southwest airlines because they'll lose it well <laughs> you wrong for that <laughs> extra chair <laughs> that i could possibly do something with but i just love how look she found a box of floating shelves so you just never know what you have until you start going through stuff and obviously she has a lot of stuff and she's like, you know what? I'm going to make this work because that's less money you have to spend. So once I know what you're working with and what you're willing to give up, and that's the key to a frugal flip. I have to be able to flip something that you already have. So, you know, people like, I want to, no, I can't flip rugs, but I can do things on floors. Like if you're willing to tear up the, the rug and I can paint a design on the floor or do something different, but 
you know, you have to really think about people. I want a new rug. I want a new couch. I want new curtains. I want new everything. Then it's not a flip. So the whole point of spending the money is just on the absolute things that we need, you know, like, like pieces for, um, you know, what would, what would you call them first? Uh, you're talking like, about just like, you like, like structural things bold, that like, if you don't, like yeah, if you don't, things, yeah, paint, things that like if you that. don't have them, it all goes to shit. Yeah. Exactly. It's necessary. Yeah. Your basic, yeah. Operating costs basically. Right. Uh, Shout out Which to everybody listening really, to the comments. Really yes, and you do a great job with it. Uh, mm -hmm. Shout out to Antonia, Kiana, Marie, MM, Kimberly, D. Ballard, Irina, Ms. Michelle. Ms. Michelle with a great tip for you Florida folks. Watch out okay. for those frozen iguanas falling out of the tree. Falling out of the tree. <laughs> along That's with good, alligators good. messing with everybody and pets and everything. The frozen iguanas falling out of trees is uh, a death threat I, I never saw thought would. Because it's so cold and they're not used to that temperature. So they're kind of like, that's wild. They get oh. big, too. They get big. Oh, Pac-93 is having a good time, too. I think, uh, what was it? Uh, Fab 540 was given a drink recommendation earlier. We always like those. Bees having a, yes, we a do. drink. What's the drink recommendation? Oh, it was something. I'm scrolling back. I need Scroll a big bottle. Back. I need a big bottle. Well, there's something, man. Some of these people, I think they might be having really. You know, drinking and smoking is the most important thing on this show. It's, it is. Thank That's you. why we gotta focus. <laughs> 2023, we gotta focus on some sponsorship with that uh, behind it. Iced tea with a splash of mango Ciroc is a vibe, says Fab Five Forty. Whoever is uh, friends with Fab Five Forty on Instagram, look forward to some DMs. Look, I ain't even know I just spilled the drink on me. Dude, the straw got a hole in it or is it my lip? That's that weed. Oh, it's this curled up, curly straw shit. If it I bends too far it. one way, it can be dangerous. Yeah, I just noticed that. They left over from Barbados. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that hotel didn't have a straw left on campus. No, no, I bet you took things, anything you could. We had to pack and take down there gotcha. and bring back. Evie Soto wants to know what your favorite drink is, B. Bug juice, right? No, that's not my favorite. My favorite drink is Malbec wine. Okay. Wine red. That's my yeah, favorite. Very you yeah. ever get a you ever get like a little bit of a spicy Malbec from like Argentina or I've had a few. They're pretty good. I drink so many, Chris. I don't even read the label. <laughs> I just pick them up. I don't know what kind of wine I drink. You couldn't ask me. But all I know is if I see it, I'd be like, oh, I'm getting that because it's a Malbec. I just like trying different ones. and It's my favorite. It used to be Shiraz, but now it's Malbec. Here, so, here, here, before we move on. Okay. I answer this question. And you could say this for many different topics. It's just a dumb thing. Kimberly D. Ballard. Just curious. Why is Chris's hair a topic of conversation every episode? Every time. <laughs> If anybody hair should be a topic, it should be mine because it'd be looking like fresh and a fly. chicken ass. No, your hair looks cool. Your hair always this, looks good. It just be sticking. I don't know what it's doing, Chris. I think it looks great. Everybody thinks it's like hard and I put gel on it. It's really soft. It just do that. Look mm. at that. I can do this all day and it just stay like that. Isn't that crazy? I think it looks great. I don't know what to do with this. Leave it. But I know one thing. I don't need to do no frugal flip on it like somebody else. I ain't saying no names. Um, now, I did to it. I'm on the wrong <laughs> side. Let, uh, guess in the comments why that is. I'll answer the best I can, Kimberly. Um, it's something silly that got brought up in anything that like Kim pushes on shows where you're together and you talk all the time, you have certain themes that you always just kind of lean on and go back to. So it's a lazy way to laugh about something silly. That's different. I don't know. There's not much better of an explanation. It's something stupid that's changing. Well, I don't know. Well, then how you about Chris? We won't talk about your hair anymore until you wear the yellow pants and the t-shirt that Cecily got you. Cause then it all make, it makes sense since it's all a reference back to two funny mamas i guess i don't know so i don't know one, how that makes it right maybe i feel like you're just trying to make me do something 
maybe for the new year, you should wear your yellow pants. Next maybe new year, new me in March at the Two Funny Mamas live show will be the next time I talk about it. With the yellow pants on it. Yeah, we'll oh, find that. Rocky. Too. Oh, okay. find that rare right to the show. Moving on, let me get to this. <laughs> I'm doing a BEIY slash feature because I have a few things to show and I want to take my time. So I'm moving it all into one. And I'm doing a little recap because, you know, as I'm always recycling and repurposing, I'm always thinking of simple things for people to use. And let me grab it while I throw my table up. If you don't have a glue gun or if you don't have access to all the things that I have and you want to do your, this is my little organization segment. If you want to make like a quick tray for your takeout uh, condiments, you can use a cookie tray. This is from some keto cookies that we had, like chocolate uh, Oreo cookies. You can just use that. Look at that, three sections. You can just line your soy sauces here, your duck sauce there, your ketchups there, stack them all up. So instead of throwing away a cookie tray, right here is an easy separator, and you don't have to do anything but put the stuff right in it. So that's just a little recap. Here's another little recap. And I did this because I didn't get a chance to talk to Sharitha. Please forgive me. We are definitely going to have our tutorial. I know I missed you on Christmas, but if people are looking for quick things, this is from last year. It was a project that we did and it takes no effort. All it is is two cans and some clothes pins. And look, I never, all I did was clip these on here onto a tuna can and I made a little tea light over. Look at that. So it's a little recap if you're looking to spruce up some things around the house. If you're having a holiday party, you want something to go out on the porch. I just glued a leftover piece of ornament on the front of this one. And as you can see on the inside, metal, you drop your tea light candle right down in there. This is one that I just spray painted and kind of decorated. I keep it out on the porch. But if you're looking for a quick project, remember these were done with clothes pins and tuna cans. Just a quick recap. If you're looking for some quick holiday cheer, it doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas. And last but not least, in my organization, uh, and it took me years to figure this out because I, I'll be smokiest. I keep certain things in these clear containers when it comes to my uh, ornaments so I don't have to write on these things, Christmas or tag them because a lot of times they're really nice. I might want to put shoes in them or use them for something else so I don't write on them. So I keep my special ornaments in here and I'm going to show you a couple things that I recycle and use. Well, first of all, every year I put different ornaments. I just write on them, all of Dennis's nicknames that I call him. So this one says President DW. So I keep all of these in little Ziploc bags. I save them every year, keep all of our special ornaments in these little Ziploc bags with tissue paper. This one says, uh, De Niro Montebello. <laughs> <laughs> Love bug. I just took a few off the tree. This one says, Benny Love. They're all over the tree, different names that I call them. And I also, this is going to be quick, say, <laughs> this is because I'm super ghetto when I'm in Starbucks. I'm going to grab a couple more of them. I always grab extra, the coffee, um, cup holders that you won't burn your hand and I put my nice ornaments in them. So if you have really nice ornaments, think about all, when you go to Starbucks or wherever they, Dunkin' Donuts got them now. At least they do here. I don't know everywhere. But in Philly, they got these finally. Grab you some of these. I got a whole stack of them. A whole bag full. And you can keep your special, like your nice ball ornaments fit right in there or even ornaments. What a great like, hack. Exactly, because I actually have these. I just took these off the tree because they didn't match. These are our two weed ornaments, but because they're super big, I just actually put two of these together just like this and slide the ornaments in there to protect them so they don't get nice. it broken. Yeah. yeah. 
go. That's my hack. So I'm letting people know, keep just grab a couple of these. And if you see some on other people's cups sitting around at the airport and you see an empty cup, just do like I do. Take it off the cup and throw it away. Start walking around everybody at the at the tables. Hey, you gonna can I can I get that? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to show those quick organizations. And actually once I start packing up my ornaments and take the tree down at the end of January. I will show people how I um. Am I in the? Oh, actually, let me turn this, Chris. That's why I'm looking all crazy off center. Oh, that's why you look crazy. Yeah, I was like, why am I all half? I forgot to turn the table. So oh, the yeah. other, uh, I'm gonna let Grace show. I'm gonna stand here and stay here. I'm gonna let her show the pictures from our tin can project. Actually, I'm sorry, recycle container project. Grace can show those, and then I'm gonna show the final, but. I don't want to reveal it yet. So everybody knows I've been working on this forever. And if you notice that black box, that was a Christmas present. It's actually a light, an LED light that beats to music. So I nice. saved that box so that I could cut it up to make my shelf and my, uh, for the um, containers, my uh, stabilizer. So I did another coat. Painted them again, did the Maj Paj, the whole nine, so I can get my little containers together for my uh, yoga room. So as you can see, I took the bottom portion of the lid of the box underneath and cut it up and measured it out according to how I wanted it to fit the cans. And then I took my black duct tape and taped it all together nice and smooth. So you got the black duct tape. Nice. Mm -hmm. And it's looking nice and smooth. I evened it out. And then I just took my glue gun and glued everything down the way that I want it on there. So I'm actually going to glue that whole set right there. Well, once, you know, you see it still has the painter's tape on it. But I'm going to glue that directly to the wall and put a nice little decoration in some flowers, some candles, cute little things that I need in my yoga room. So nice. I'll get that. Now, Grace. I will show what it looks like now that I'm finally done with it. And I'm actually going to show it up close. And as you can see, it's hollow underneath. I'm keeping it light so I can adhere it. I'm going to put a big piece of like double-sided sticky tape on the back and stick this right to my yoga wall. And I'll probably, I might put a few screws in it. Uh, I don't know yet. It depends on how heavy the stuff is that I put in here. But I'm going to kind of show it up close. And remember, if you're doing this project, don't forget to send me some photos so you can be on the next Brief and Bake. But I just wanted people to see. I did the hot, and I kept the Pringle lid. But yeah, I painted it, hooked it up so it could match things in my yoga room. And I'm finally done with the second set of containers. Look at you go. So with that being said, I want people to see this box top. This was the top. And what I did was I took my exacto knife because a lot of people don't have straight edges and all kind of stuff and, you know, vector knife, but you can even use some scissors if you want. This was pretty thick. I just went in the inside and just kind of scored it and snapped it down because this is like I said this is really thick and then cut it in half and then cut it to the size that I need it because as you can see it's not the exact height of the original box mm -hmm. I just wanted to, I didn't want it to be that long I didn't need all that extra space but yeah so that's what I look at everything and this just came for Christmas as a piece of recycling I didn't know what I was going to mount my cans on in terms of the foundation but as soon as i opened this up i was like oh there you go Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and who knows and see i'll save this because i'm sure i'll be using it for something else i know me so there you have it this is just black duct tape on a box i put together with some pringle cans a parmesan cheese can and a body wash creamy body wash little container 
Look at you go. Right there, just for decoration. Just to add a little little something. Yeah. A little something, something. And last but not least, I have to show this. So I'll let Grace show the pictures again, and then I'll be done. So this, so you know I'm working on Sybil's uh, photos. I actually printed out two. And I, I kept trying to figure out how I was going to use something to, like a piece of glass to make it look like it's actually in a frame. And I found this old screen protector. So the funny thing is, though I covered the photos with the actual peel part that protected the screen protector, Mm-hmm. And it stick right to it. So that's what I use as my like glossy film protector for my photos. This and is then, yeah. It was I was like I got, I know I have something. I know me. So the um canvas that I was working on last week, I sanded it down, wiped it down with a nice clean white cl- uh, cloth. And then I just kind of did four different colors of blue to kind of give it like a nice wash on it. I'm not done with it, but I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. And then I think the next photo shows how I laid the photos on the back to try to figure out where I want them within the frame. So my next uh, photo shows how I measured them. As you can see, I kind of, as you can see, I drew and I had to measure it out in terms of where I want the picture centered within the frame. So it does take a lot of measuring and writing down and jotting some numbers, but I cut the middle out. And I'm going to show you a few things. So the funny thing is this glass that I originally was going to use is too heavy for the for my project. And I only have one. I didn't want to put two pieces of glass on that canvas because it would be too wobbly. No matter how much I just sewed that canvas, it's still not stable enough to handle two pieces of heavy glass. So I was like, these screen protector pieces work perfectly. So a lot of people don't have a straight edge. And I'm going to let this is what I use. And this was the broken off piece of the box as my straight edge. I started out because I was working within this frame so my ruler was too long and i had to be able to work within here so i needed a straight edge so i used that and an envelope and my measuring tape so once i made the marks with the measuring tape i just used these things as a straight edge now i'm going to show you what the actual picture looks like and these were my cutout pieces from the middle I don't know what I'm going to do with these pieces of canvas, but I'm saving them for something. I'm of sure. Of course you are. Scrapbook. Knowing me, I'll probably mount something on them from the scrapbook. But yeah, like I said, I just use an envelope and a piece of broken straight edge because this is the bottom. Uh, I knew this was an exact straight edge because this was like the bottom part of the um, cardboard. So everything else was, all, as you can see, is choppy where I cut it off, but this part was right on point. So it worked. And I was walking around like, oh, what am I going to use to fit in the middle to make a straight line? So with that being said, I'm going to use the actual screen protector and I put it on the front of here. I just popped it on the front because you know it's sticky. But I'm actually going to take, yeah, I'm going to take it out. Look at that. I'm going to take this out. Because remember, I use the piece of um, film that comes over, like that's in a binder. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's like in a photo album. That's why it's all buckly. So I'm going to put this nice piece inside of here and remount this. So that can look better hanging up on the wall. And last but not least, and even though I'm not done with this, but I'll show you what Sybil's picture is looking like so far. So what I did, thank you, Chris. I I taped off, obviously, and painted this black, but I like this wash. I still have to put like hodgepodge on it, but I'm going to take these out because I don't want this the hodgepodge sticky film to get on the the shiny part. So I'm going to take these out 
finish this up and I still have to cut this belt because I'm going to do a black and white belt. So as you can see, I just put this on with like some tape, like some sticky tape, just so you can see how I'm going to frame this. And you see the belt on the top. Mm -hmm. I still have to do this side, but like I was just showing this, you know, just for show purposes. But I have some belts over. I was pulling out. I don't even wear belts. I don't even know who got me these, where they came from. But initially, I thought I was going to use this one, but it's too thin. But I might mm -hmm. work it out. But I like, I put the black on there, and I did like the combination. So next week, it'll be finished, and you'll see how I worked with these belts. And I'm going to definitely take a picture of this so Sybil can see how I framed her two pictures. So again, I'll let, I'm holding it crooked. Oh, I'm dyslexic. Like, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm holding it crooked. So that's what it looks like so far. I still just have to finish it. So this tape on the back, I just used some scotch tape and some... I actually had to put this packing tape on it just to keep it flat. Scotch tape does not stick to canvas because it's like it's cloth. So I just used the scotch tape initially because I know I have to take it off of here to finish it. But I had to tape it down like this tonight just so they could stay flat in there so you could see it. But I'm actually going to show how I'm going to put a backing on here also so they can stay flat. So, yeah, Sybil will be happy to see how I'm going to frame her picture, pictures and hang them. Hang that in the yoga room. I'm ready to get my yoga room together. I think from there. all the designs and everything you've talked about, that's going to be a... A heck of a room. Yeah, I'm just ready to get back in there and have the vibe that I need to get back, you know, get back right. So there you have it. That was my BIY and feature. And I got hit up by two people, showed me some really interesting things that I would love to feature. And I was like, oh, I got you in the new year. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Kim. I'm looking forward to going to LA. It's a lot going on, Chris can't believe you're dodging me i'm gonna be out there end of february oh i'm gonna be back because i have to go to uh shreveport louisiana for a show and a parade nice okay political stuff i'm doing you know i'm always doing something political just a little, now. A little. <laughs> just, just a little something something so chris guess what and i told grace to remind me that's why i don't need to smoke i don't have an irks and works I got an irk. Oh, if you have one, that's even better. I meant to shout it out earlier in case somebody had one in the comments. But you know I got a Chris Deasy. I got two of them. Well, let's just jump to the Chris Deasy. What do you got? Actually, you know oh, what? Well, hit yes. the music, will you? Okay, well, when you hit the music, I'm going to go on and get up and do a cash app dance with my girl, Darlene. Well, we all know uh, Chris Deasy's hair is a big topic on the show. The questions... <laughs> Are legit it's people's favorite segment by people i mean my mother working out, working out. but now it's officially an naacp image award-winning segment breaking news it has been delivered the two funny mamas <laughs> trophy the first question kim asked whenever she heard it was here does it have your name on it no <laughs> But okay. it has it. So thank you to the NAACP Image Awards. And more importantly, if you all watch, I assume most of you watch Two Funny Mamas, thank you. It's here. Okay. So wanted to announce that. I don't know. What's that? Show B. She's dancing. Get the dance on. Check it out. It's here. I don't know. I can't do the hard with shake. Some dances I can't do. You do them well, though. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ask Chris easy questions. Talking. Get them in. Okay. You ready? I did not win this for uh, Ask Chris Deasy. It was for Two Funny Mamas, but it was implied. That's what's up. I'm glad you finally got it. That was really cool that can... they uh, they sent uh, that third one. So Now I'm you really, can put it on the really shelf with the Soul Train Award. <laughs> with that Soul Train Award of you dancing. <laughs> All right, you ready for your question? <sighs> yes, I am. And to be clear, very proud of yeah. this and very thankful to get that trophy. All kidding aside. So 
Thank it's you. Very everybody. nice. Yeah. I'm glad you finally got it. It's, it's dope. Hmm. And if um, John wants to print me one, he can send it to me. Okay. Yeah, I got the address. B, you'll see it in person. If you want to make a copy and print me one. <laughs> we'll get a picture to, with it tomorrow. Oh, that means I might have to dress up. I was gonna well, that'll be our thing. next frugal frugal flip. Uh, CB s- says, let B Dremel Midcoast Media on it <laughs> for a DIY. That's great. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I had to cough on that one. You ready? We're here and we're ready. Ask Christy. All right, Chris. This is anonymous. It's a quick one. Have you ever heard the phrase, he got his nose open? No. <laughs> like, oh, is this maybe in a fight? Is that what it means? No. Mm-mm. He got his nose open. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you have an unruly teenager, mm. it usually means they're having sex. Or he got a girlfriend. They be like, oh, he, she got his nose open. That means they fuck it. <laughs> That's what it means, Chris. So if you ever hear anybody say, oh, he got a nose open. They're like, oh, she hot. She hot. She, he got a nose open. Oh, That's what oh it means. Gosh. And I'm telling you, people in the comments probably think, yep, that's what it means. So if you ever hear that. They fucking. Like, uh, they fuck. I told him to take the trash out. He got smart with me and she got a little girlfriend. She got his nose open. I mean. <laughs> I, get the, I get the sentiment. Oh, my gosh. You know that something? Means- I, I tell uh, this isn't quite the same, but. If there's a dude who's doing a little too much or he's kind of annoying mm. and he's and he's just gotten with a girl or he's wanting to or he's like he's doing too much. I used to call that puppy dogging. And it's a similar thing because I'm like, this guy's puppy dogging because he's <laughs> sniff <laughs> falling around like oh, what she need me to do next. Like that kind of thing. Um, so kind of the like same you- sentiment. Well, but this is more for like when kids are going through puberty. Okay. Yeah. This would be an adult who up. didn't That's go through puberty, say, oh. right? Yeah, they'd be like, oh, he got his nose open. That's when you see him on the phone, and then next thing you know, they start talking crazy to you and shit. Yeah. They'd be like, what? Mom? Why? All that crazy. Why are you mm. calling me? And they hit you with the what? Mm. It used to be like, ma'am, sir, yes. And now when right. you call me, they be like, what? <laughs> How about this? Dark and Lovelies uh, says, using a sentence, Kim has Chris's wide open. <laughs> See? Got your nose wide open. Got your nose wide open. That's good. There you have it. Oh, man. Yeah. Ask one. Chris easy. Good stuff. Thank you, B. Well, here's one that came in from Picasso, B Square. Shout out to Beverly Vaughn, Silver Spring in the house. Okay. And I like this one. It's simple. Chris, what gives you peace and or joy? Uh, Besides B flat? No, just simple. Like, if that was like something you had to answer quickly, what would you say if you had to hit the button? Oh. What gives you peace and joy? Peace and joy. The joy part, I love whenever uh, something funny comes together, right? Like you put on a good show or something like that. The peace part, uh, it's really easy because I live like an hour from where I grew up. It's nice to just go down and spend time with family, and it's nice and quiet. Nobody really bugs you. Get got a bunch of dogs around. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. So that's what's up. That's yeah, good. that's the easy answer for sure. That's good. A lot of people aren't still family oriented. You know, they rather. It's good to hear that people like to spend time with their family. I spend too much time on Twitter, like checking things yeah. out and, and Twitter is so toxic, but if I date, like Twitter isn't real either. So you have to remind yourself that, but it'll make you go crazy. <laughs> You're like, what if I dated someone that was like making fun of somebody in my family behind my back or something? Now that doesn't ever really happen. People have complaints about family members and stuff, but like, especially on the holiday season and stuff, like if you are in a relationship where your families are cool and you guys all just meld together, like thank goodness for that because i can't imagine being with someone that you didn't at least you weren't okay around their family you think about what that, that? Got to do with twitter chris 
Would they on say Twitter, something? Twitter just complains. They say like, oh, this person, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. His family does this. Her family does this. I'm not going to date somebody whose family does this. So oh. it's not real life. It's a bunch of people pretending like they have. But I'm too scatterbrained for Twitter. I can't. My mind run things too quickly. I have too much shit to do. That's why I can't put my every thought on Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I don't even understand it. I yeah, don't don't do you don't I'm even need to right this. I know. I'm actually getting ready to disable the account. Because I don't do it at all, and I don't care. If you I, did it, if you did it, it would be f it would be good for like a something you just clown on something because you're just so so good off the cuff. But it's a but whole. But that's my thing point. It would drive me crazy to do it because I'm always thinking of shit, and that's, right. that's why I, I told you Dennis came down here. He was like you and all them stickies because I think all the time I have to write shit down because my mind is always racing and shit pops up like oh let me write that down oh let me right. write that. Down. Then I have a pile of stickies like this that I have to go through, and so no, I can't do Twitter. Just don't even mess with it. Yeah, it'll blow my heart. So I don't. Don't want. Because I already don't know what I'm doing on Facebook, and I'm just learning Instagram. So. Well, you're doing great. I got enough. <laughs> oh. What's next, B? Tight I, show. My show in St. Louis. Oh, got a few tickets yeah. left. Central stage. You can get your tickets at Metro Tix. That's Chris, literally. We got more than a few tickets left. Oh, uh, there's like 30 at this point. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Hustle up. Damn. Let's get those. Let's get yeah. the real. Let's get the real sellout. We got to get this sold out. Mm -hmm. sold well, out. again, too, like e it would be, I won't say easy, but we might have had to do two shows or a bigger venue if we promoted it for, you know, 90 days or something. We're promoting this we on like 12 days. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was telling Quincy, I'm like, hey, no promoters joke. If you're coming to this, like, you know, get a ticket now. So, Well, believe me, I know people are coming. Believe me, Chris, they driving me crazy. Hmm. I hope you ain't charging Kanye West prices. That's totally Hope you bucks. ain't charging Kevin Hart prices. Hope no. you ain't charging Beyonce prices. Right now, Precious. <laughs> here's this. Here's this. Precious does shows all over St. Louis for between mm. fifteen and thirty dollars, like for a ticket. Right? She stays mm -hmm. busy. She's an up and comer. Tina is on an arena, t not arena. What do you call that? A theater tour with Chelsea sure. Lynn. Yeah. She's about to do, I think, two or four thousand person rooms. So you want to see Tina, sixty dollars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, and then yeah, B, B, I see the prices on your tickets. Your tickets are forty to sixty usually, depending on like the show you're yeah. doing. So this is twenty bucks, and it's in St. Louis, and you know B is going to kick it in the uh, the meet and greet. So if you got friends in St. Louis or you know make some sure people, make sure y'all come early because I'm hosting the show. I am. This show is not about me. It's about these wonderful ladies in St. Louis. We're doing wonderful things. We're all from the loop. So don't be thinking you're going to come there and see me at the end and all that other stuff. I'm doing my thing throughout, but I'm mostly clowning up front. I'm yeah. setting the tone. It's going to be a, a very and nice tone to set. <laughs> So if, you, uh, if you're if you thinking about coming, it'll be a great show. Central stage, doors at 7, show at 8. Going to be a good time. Key will be there. Grace will be there. I'll be there. Um, and you can get tickets. Go to Metrotix, metrotix.com, and you just type in B-flat, and there you go, 20 bucks. You can see these ladies. Might have a couple guests stop by as well. So stop by. It's yeah, going to be a good yeah, time. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It is. I am too because, Chris, did you find us a spot to hang out afterwards? Yes, we'll be good. We gotta, oh, okay. we gotta. You should see the checklist. I gotta go over with B tomorrow with her. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> I uh. did send you a long email. Mm -hmm. but look, you know I'm about logistics, and you know I just like to make. I love it about things. you. You're We're on, on the top same of your game. Page. It's nice. That's what it is. I wanted to say it's nice because not everybody's right. like that. There you go. I just like to say. I just like to make sure we're on the same page. Mm hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Ah, oh, Makisha, Makisha Harris will be there. Quincy will be there. I love okay, it. that'll work. Okay, so shout out to Makisha. I would like to meet her. You know, and I'm telling everybody, wear your smoking shirt. Hook it up if you got to throw it on with a blazer, a long sleeve underneath. Wear your smoking shirts. You ready? Yes. If this is real, what a genuine, nice offer. This will get us closer to that sellout. 
this actually makes look B a lot better too. So you're helping her because we're going to do bigger stuff here in the future. Ms. Michelle, I'll sponsor 10 tickets for single moms. Midcoast CDZ needs to do a contest for the recipients if possible. I'll tell you what, Ms. Michelle, we are short on time, but I will make some calls and I will link up. Precious and I are, are tight. We're buddies. She's uh, a mother herself. Um, she, Precious can, ha- Precious can help me with that. Too. Oh, you can I'm help with that. No of course I can help with it. What you talking about? Oh, well, you don't undercut the people that are going to pay. <laughs> You're going to well, pay for full, full all, price. Michelle don't know Precious. Michelle know me. Thank you. Well, I'm saying Precious could, could link us up with some I'm single moms in St. Louis. It's that I'm weed. Me. You're just Chris. getting after it. Okay, we Ms. Are- Michelle, if you use Instagram, let me know. Or you can Instagram DM me. Or email me, chris at midcoast.media. There you go. So we'll make why it don't, do you want to do it with like Tina? Maybe to let Tina know, say something like, oh, you can give away three tickets to single moms and three for Precious and four for me. Or do you need one, Chris? You know a single mom? I'm trying to know a few. Oh. <laughs> Are you trying to? Oh. I know, a, know I you mom. know what I know a single mom that bought a ticket, and I do know some single moms. All kidding aside, so do you want a ticket to give away? I'm gonna let I'm gonna give you one. We'll discuss this at our meeting tomorrow. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> Add it to I'm the list. Secret. I'm doing it in the morning of Facebook and letting four people know. But if you want a Don't. ticket, I'll do it. I am. No, you your your account needs to be focused on pay for the tickets, pay full price. No, <laughs> this what I'm saying this is, should, should shift to a, nice a group of people who weren't going to be coming. But that's what I'm saying. You don't know who's not coming. But if you're able to give a ticket away, but to if it comes, long, but if it comes from you out on your public Facebook, people are going to be like, "Well, I can just get it for free." Say I'm a single mom. But I know the people on my Facebook. Remember, okay. I have 5,000 friends and I don't. <laughs> Five, the, not six, not no, six. Not, not two, that. not three. 5,000. I people on my Facebook that I know. That's Let's, what the fan page is for. They will be doled out like however you want them to be doled out, Diva. Yeah, we'll talk about that in the morning. Earl. <laughs> Wait, you know what, if, I call, if I call you a diva, are you a beaver? No. Okay. Because <laughs> that's how I'm like teeth. And somebody might start talking about my teeth. And my name is Beverly. I don't want people calling me Beaverly. And I be <laughs> First of all, a couple people in the comments. This is how big of a baby I am. I used to try and call you Beverly as much as possible because that's what you come up in as my phone and it bothers you. Mm-hmm. So I just picked on you like I was, you know, seven. And a few people in the comments were like, I can't stand when he calls her Beverly. And notice, I haven't called you Beverly since. (laughs) Because I like me. Don't be calling me Beverly. Yeah, anything I can do to get you off your game is fun, though, Beverly. Oh, Daisy. That's how you feel. I try not to get off my game. I try not to get off my game. But that's why it's so fun, because you're you're such a force. True, but half the shit people say go in one ear and out the other, and I don't really hear it anyway. Like you're saying, I'm always thinking about me. So that's why I be high. And going. Exactly. So I think- <laughs> I'm always trying to stay on top of my game. But you, I hear what I want to hear, like my daddy say. <sighs> <laughs> so with that being said, Chris, it's a wrap for this show. I love that. I love that you know that I call you out for being a narcissist as much as I can, oh. <laughs> as much as I can. I but you know what? I'm in love with me. <laughs> and you know what? I'm in love with B. Hmm. Well, thank you. There I'm it is. I love me. I know. We all know. We're aware. If you don't love yourself. <laughs> who gonna love you? I'm not sure. I my mom loves me. There you go. Well, I know I love me. If I don't get no love from nobody else, I ain't got to worry about it. But see, Chris, I get all the love from the Picasso's. They could be anywhere, Chris, but they be here every Tuesday hanging out with us. And that's why I love Tiger Tuesday. Oh. <sighs> and to, sh- to everyone, I was kidding about the single moms. You don't have to worry. Kim won't be upset. And, uh... 
Boy, uh, you know everybody, thank you. My ticket. You thank you, Kathy Bryant. Uh, oh, I love you all. Thank you, Michelle. Thank, thank you, Ms. Michelle. Michelle. Very kind. Thank you, Irina, for hooking up. Grace and Key. You. Grace, thank you for your love and all your hard work at Midcoast Media. And thank you, thank you for all your love in the comments. We'll see you next I'm Tuesday. Grace, you could see her Thursday. See you on Thursday. Bye, everybody. Thursday. Kelly, MRS. See you next Tuesday. MM, Makisha. Bye. Oh.